Hello, everybody. My name is Sahara Boy. I still have a lot to do. And I am back for my couple day uh, hiatus. I have been dealing with some health issues on the side. And if anything, I will continue to probably deal with some for the next while. So, videos will be spotty. I will do my best to get them out when I can. And I hope you all enjoy them. Now. It is time to see what will happen next. We can leave the jade here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see child. So, as for the jewelsmith's remuneration... Guess we can't do anything else. Also, is this why we're doing the rite of parting? Yes. I have already rented this location and have begun making preparations for the rite. That's right. The Liu e Qixing have acquiesced to using the same location. But when something this big happened here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. Although, with that said, since we got back from Dwayne Karst, none of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing after us. I wonder what that's about. Also, the, uh, Rex Lapis vessel... Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. Ah, right! That's what it was called. You seem to know everything, Mr. Zhongli. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden away by the Chi-Sing? I mean, we haven't even figured out who the murderer is. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help would probably only add to their troubles. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? The only mint in Liyue, which is to say the only mint in Tevat. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. Wow! Oh, no! Paimon wasn't thinking about anything bad. Paimon thinks it suits Morax. But why do you know this, Mr. Zhongli? Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Qixing, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. Perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. In Liyue, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I, for one, have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Perfumes? Where will we get those? Do we buy them? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant and is especially suited for solemn events like giving offerings to gods and adepti. It's time for Zhang Li's lectures on high society again. <laughs> <laughs> we shall not speak of the details right now. Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients. <laughs> Uh, and trust me, his talks on business fly right over my head. Still do. Mostly because I am not a businesswoman. Probably never will be. Guess we can rest a bit. So, if anything, ah! I more prefer my writings to an accounting desk. <laughs>
which I mean I plan to release some of my writing as audiobooks if you guys would like to see that let me know I really actually have a story like all ready to go it's more a matter of I need a background to put it on and I don't know if any of my friends would be willing to do it so uh, like I said if you guys love if you guys want it like comment subscribe and I am especially horrible at this and again not these videos don't get many views how many people seem to like this which is unfortunate because it is quite a beautiful game and I honestly I cannot uh, place this game hey, enough. Hey, Buzz, do you sell silk flowers here? Silk flowers? We certainly do. Which kind would you like? Which kind? The, uh, the good kind? The best kind? Remind Paima what kinds there are again. <laughs> Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. Golden Housemaiden, Valley Weaver, and Fate's Yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. Uh, please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. Now then, please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, these are fine specimens, excellently preserved. Just look at the abundant foliage here, and these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This strain is an evergreen, and mostly grows under complex hydrological conditions. By contrast, this variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals and densely packed stamens, though its powerful scent gives it away just as easily. Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal, and when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring scent. It was first discovered by the ancients when they scaled the mountains in search of the Adepti. Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Liu's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Wow! A true connoisseur! Most of that was news even to me! I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. Oh, Mr. Zhongli, you're way too humble. I'll take them all, Bob. Again? How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. But this silk flower purchase is not an analogous case. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the silk. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the seven in 3,700 years. As such, hmm. I do think we should honor tradition down to the last detail in this case. Now Interesting that's a question. number though. What happened <clears throat> back then? Do you have any You forgot to bring money again? <sighs> Zhong Li? Uh, if I may interject, did I hear you say that Yes, in a sense. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? I heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. While we do, while we it would be bad luck to say it out loud. This is just going over my head. But I've been worried about our dear Lord ever since. I'm worried that since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord... Are you serious? 
Why wouldn't I be? I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, they'd only be worth a fraction of what I... Huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses. Thank you, boss. I think I speak for all of us when I say that your generosity has saved... Our skins? You were the one who forgot to bring money! Please, it's the least I could do. Hmm... Well, so what do y'all think about so, John Lee now here? that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately, none of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. Talk about first world What problems. do you guys think is up with him? Hence, I need you to help by asking around in the city. Try the common folk, especially women. So this time, we get to go around town looking for nice-smelling ladies to talk to? Paimon likes this I will wait for you near the Statue of the Seven. Meet me there when the perfume is ready. Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurer's Guild. <gasps> Let's ask Ron! She's master of the Leeway branch, right? Alright. I might pause here and just take a second to relax. Uh, it's been a few hard days of travel and... Yeah, I've got a smidge of shit lag. Just from driving from Nevada to Utah a couple of times in a row. It's quite ridiculous. Either way, it is a Lauren, we need to ask you for a favor. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry, you two, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny... <laughs> wow. Just wow. Do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. Well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing, so... Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxin flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! The truth is out! Uh, no, they were for medicinal use of- Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to- The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good! Thanks, Lon! See you around! So, what do y'all think about Zhong Wei? There seems to be something suspicious up with him, right? Right, right? I mean- I mean, he keeps forgetting to bring money, is his number one trade, kind of, at this point. <laughs> I mean, heck, there's a reason why I have my character say, I'd be more surprised if he brung it. Because <laughs> he seems to constantly forget his moral purse. So... Anything. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. If y'all even watch this video. Cause sheesh! Most of my analytics are there are no views because nobody's watching. Which absolutely sucks. I, I'm, I'm trying to make a good amount of content for you guys. But you guys are making it quite difficult. Unless maybe I'm just getting swept under the rug. Hello. How many- We've come to ask you a question. Perfume? I rarely think to use it. Let alone- That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague. Because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. That's the worst thing Paimon's heard. While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Er? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel we need! Fine, 
finally we're getting somewhere. All right. Sheesh. Uh, okay, you're not to switch to traveler. Since we're doing story stuff. Also, if you guys have any questions about any type of quest that's on the side, let me know in the comments. I will happily help you guys out. Well, hello. You found me at last. You guys in the right direction. I've been waiting for you. What? How did you know we were coming? Oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet-smelling lady. Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. Snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? What can I say? People love to talk. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? Three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the pro- <clears throat> Is that the best you could come up with? Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a deity- Zhang Li was right. People don't remember this tradition anymore. As one of my favorite poems goes, O oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring. For come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. That went over Paimon's head a little. <laughs> in short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant. But you'd better make sure I'm the only person. So, where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? First of all, I do not want to go back to that gorge so You mean Wan Mean Restaurant? Good choice. Let's go. Alright. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back once I've kind of gotten myself feeling a little bit better. Jet lag sucks. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I just... I really badly needed a minute. I'm not... I don't to travel much anymore. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Are you ready to please me? What did you say? I meant make me proud. As m while I'm setting up, you behind the restaurant. Alright. Oh, uh. Oh, uh, these. Ah! Ha. Cheap and tasty chop suey! And. Drop it. <laughs> you can see I can use Kwame to kind of trick the boundaries. This water will do nicely. Now. I need you to extract the perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Vi you need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep go- Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Now take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bed. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process. You can see she even does like different colors of the bottles. Uh, do I have any character? No. You can see how each flower can kind of differ. Easy. Alrighty. 
can also see that there's some other things that I've off. Uh, if you're going up to Dragon Spire, craft this a lot. This actually helps out so much. But if you're dealing with like different bosses with different elements, it's always good to kind of gather a few of these other potions to kind of. If you're having a bit of an issue, this helps. The suit, these roses are only found in Sumeru. So maybe get an OP friend who might be able to help you out there. Uh, but yeah. You can see that these use all. And these help boost damage of certain elements. Either way. Wow, this is some exquisite silk flower as the essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please focus on controlling the heat. This is the don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want... Okay. <laughs> Thank God. All three perfumes are ready, and you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? Paima wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes, the first choice for daughters of high society. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a m all clear? Don't get them mixed up now. Good. Be sure to come visit if you- I'll leave you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. <laughs> Come and Let's take the these three perfumes over to the Statue of the Seven. Mr. Zhongli's probably been waiting a while. Oh, uh, right. Uh, Statue of the Seven. Which one? This one. Good. Boom. Just for a bit of healing. Did we take too long? You were just... Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liu, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well... Uh... Three sets, and not one... <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. The first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is... <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Per what a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form. <sighs> Let's hope the Cheesing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. So, we finished another step our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She... Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time? Yeah. <laughs> 
And trust me when I say you get a lot of achievements when you sit there and you go through this stuff for the first time. Uh, let's see. That's right! That's right, that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah. Uh, we. Walk in seven clockwise circles, then walk in seven anti clockwise circles. Then, come to think of it, while Rex Lapis enjoys visiting his people in private, he only descends officially once every year. None of the other gods do this. Hmm. Does Rex Lapis have any deeper intentions? I, have I will let you guys check that out yourself, but I did get a new character. I will need to level this dude up because, I mean, another bow user. That is actually going to be quite nice. So, in fact, actually, we will end the episode with you guys watching me put him together. Ooh, what's this one? Ooh, um, don't quite like this one. Ooh, I like that. I actually quite like that. Switch to this one. It is quite a beautiful bow. So we will go enhance. Um, oh my god, so many, like, other bows. I get that you're supposed to use them for, like, refining purposes, but trust me when I say you do not need this much stuff. You honestly don't. Especially when most of the stuff you get is, like, this grade. You'll get some that's like this great. Auto add. Boom. And now we will send the weapon to sixth level. You know, this is just the normal stuff. Let's go auto add. Slots are full. Ooh, I don't want quite enough chaos devices. I will get more and keep that going. For right now, that right now is very, very fitting of his character. And usually, what I do is I go for adventure stuff. Just while I'm getting an understanding of the character. Uh, traveling doctors down here is the adventure. Say, so, <laughs> I have quite a bit of interesting sets here. You guys will have to tell me which is kind of best for certain characters. And boom, now the final one. This one is the one that I like to do a bit differently because, well, there are many types of hats to choose from. I know I'm kind of setting him up to be more of an energy recharge, but you know. And I'll level him up in the future. For right now, though, I'm going to leave this episode here, and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!